What's up, everybody? This is Chris from Simu Gaming, and this is the very first Kindle Fire Friday episode. How you guys doing tonight? Uh, I'd like to thank you for coming here on Friday, the day after Christmas. Hopefully, you guys had a good Christmas, got all the crap you wanted. Uh, maybe you returned the crap you didn't want today, so I uh, hope you got that out of the way. Uh, today we're actually going to be playing on the Kindle Fire TV. Uh, I've been wanting to kind of do this for a while. I actually had this uh, when it came out. Pretty cool little set-top box. I mean, it's, it's kind of along the same lines as your Apple TV, you know, your Chromecast. Um, what's a little bit different about it I mean, when you compare it to like the Ouya or like, uh, you know, like the uh, what, uh, Roku, stuff like that, is uh, it's got a quad-core processor. Um, it's actually three times the processing power of Apple TV, Roku, and... A dedicated Adreno 320 graphics engine, which is really cool, and has two gigabytes of memory. Um, all that together is about four times that of Apple, Roku, and Chromecast. So uh, it's a neat little thing. It's actually cheaper right now on Amazon. It's like 80 bucks, 20 bucks cheaper than what it has been, 99, you know, typical price for something like this. So uh, it's, it's definitely a steal. And uh, the thing that I've been kind of amazed is, is I've been playing a lot of games on it, surprisingly. You know, in addition to uh, Amazon Prime, Hulu, Netflix, uh, the game library is actually it's growing. A lot of independent games, a lot of mainstream games, and it's it's getting better every day. So, the game I wanted to do today was Leo's Fortune. Um, haven't really met, read too much about it. It seems pretty cool. It's like a platformer, um, kind of along the same lines as Badlands. If you if you know that that game, so we'll check that out today and see what it's all about. I actually played uh, one level earlier when I tried to record this, and then uh, my recording fucked up. So. Uh, hopefully this one will be okay, so let's see what we got. Alright, let's go back. We'll just go to level two. Uh, level one was kind of a, or stage one, whatever, it was kind of like a tutorial level, so this one will probably be a little bit more in depth, so. Sorry. This is my dog. This is a red dead baby, yeah! Alright, sorry. Alright, make sure this Uh. Hope you guys are having a good night. All right, dude, let's do it. Okay. Okay. What do we have here? All right, come on, come on. There it is. All right, sorry. Hold on. Gotta get this mic in my face. As you can see, the graphics are really good. Um, for a set-top box system, I mean, it runs real smooth. I don't, haven't looked into it if it's 60 FS or... What the fuck? Oh, I gotta get that coin up there, man. No, 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 ah, oh, damn it! Oh, okay. Just go around. <laughs> what is this mysterious contraption? What is this mysterious contraption? I don't think I was supposed to go down there. Okay. It starts moving really fast, and I feel like I'm gonna miss something, even though it's a lot of fun when you start gliding like that. Oh shit. Damn it. Uh. It's like slid it into that thorn. You gotta utilize these, the X button to kind of get you down faster. I feel like I'm missing stuff up there. I was gonna bring it up there. Sweet. Hmm. Alright, that got me nowhere. Oh, I see. 
Ah! Uh. Come on, you little fluffy, cute ass mustache. Dude, <laughs> like. There we go. <laughs> no! Oh, yes. Ah! I'm just really impressed with the graphics. Oh man, that was like a slow piercing. Jeez. I said the graphics are really, I mean, they're really good, man. I'm liking it. Uh, like I said, this is called Leo the Adventure. Uh, I'll make sure that at the end of this video, I'll put credits out, put some more information probably in the, uh, in the about thing of this video so you can all look it up. Not really sure who made it. It might be the same guys who made the Badlands game. It's very similar in mechanics and look. Uh -huh. Don't. Uh, uh. Nice and slow. I don't have a timer. They're all good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I need to get that seesaw up. Oh, wait, huh? Where am I going? Ah, oh, dang it. Ah. Oh. Oh. At least the the checkpoints are forgiving on this game. I've noticed that. So that's nice. Oh, <laughs> nice. Woo! Just flying. Awesome. What I get? Oh, dude! I missed five. Hmm. Might have to try that again. See what I missed. Go back there and do it later. All right. We we'll on the next one. We'll do two, two tonight. Let's finish this act one at least. Oh, I got one more stage, so I'm gonna do that in another episode. Before I went deeper, I paused to imagine the thief. Cousin Victor was a suspect. His moral compass twitched like broken clockworks when gold was near. But Aunt Olga had passion. It's the aunt. Her Look at her, man. Her pure metal were fierce with no compassion. You know she did it. And that Uncle bitch. Sergei was the ruthless one. Our nah, Uncle Serge is good. Lands. He look like he'd be kind of bored. He used to love Probably help out later. Now we had not spoken in years. I got my eyes on the aunt. But despite this pickle of a trap, I followed the gold underground. I was choiceless, at least momentarily. Hmm. Interesting. The plot thickens. I'm going to include in this video the intro to this uh, game that they talked about. I guess he made something, some invention, and uh, it was pretty much jacked. So he's on this quest now to find out who did it. And Hopefully get this invention back and all that stuff. I don't know if it's like save the world type thing or whatever, but we'll find out. My money's on the ant. Oh, dude, come on. Hmm, interesting. Okay, then there we go. I'm still, I'm still pissed, pissed about the other the other stage that I missed. Five. Bullshit. Oh, I'm already up there and I'm going backwards. Damn it. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. Is there a lever back there I missed? Hmm. Dang it. Ah! 
I'm gonna try to go down there because I think I. Okay, that's that's not gonna get me anywhere. I'm kind of pissed about not. Dude, I mean, how the fuck do I open that? I missed something back here. I'm sorry, I just want to see if I missed the lever or something. I don't see anything. Hmm, maybe that'll, maybe that'll show back up later. <laughs> Big ol' fluffy ball getting hit. Yeah, just the imagery in this game, like the background and how it all kind of overlaps with the foreground and the graphics is really good, man. I'm digging it. It's a classic platformer, really, in, in all sense of it. Um, I'd say that's not good, not addicting. All that work just for that lever, really. What a poorly made mining place or whatever. Oh, shit. Oh. I'm trying to use the X, which kind of punches you down quick, but it's obviously not working. I'm just gonna float this guy, nice and easy. Making it too complicated. There we go. <laughs> this looks a bit dangerous. Boy. Sorry, my dog. Probably chewing up something. Ah, what a silly way to get hit. Ooh. It's like so many different places I feel like I might miss. Hmm. Ooh, that's gonna help later on. Ah, some kind of puzzle. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I was supposed to go that way. I inadvertently figured out how to do that. Kind of puzzle. And that's a terrible oh. accent. But, oh. Come on, bowling ball. <laughs> I sold it. I sold it. Oh. Okay, so what was the point of the puzzle? Seriously, what was the point of me doing that? Why did I just waste my time putting two ball, four balls on a damn lever, lifter thing? Oops. Why is the music going away? Is it starting to get spooky? I know there's little areas down here. There you go, get up on there. Hmm. So me there one of those go all the way down here and then Oh man, I squished. Can I just go out here? No. Alright, alright, I'll play you silly games. Come on, up, up. There it is. And there's the lever. 
Let him go back. Okay. <laughs> Even he's like, Jesus. Yeah. All right. Have a little patience, Chris. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. That was it. Did I get all of them? Nice. 15 deaths. Holy shit. <sighs> well, that is it for this episode of Kindle Fire Fridays. Um, I'm probably going to start doing that try to every Friday, get a new game out, um, showcase it. Uh, I don't know if I'll do a full pro, like a full playthrough of it. Um, it's maybe a game I do on my own. Uh, you pretty much get the gist of it. There's really no boss battles in this game or like that. It's just puzzles and progressive, you know, progressively getting harder and all that with the, uh, with the platform type style. So it's a fun game. Uh, let me confirm that it is called Leo's Fortune. I don't know what I said earlier, Leo's Adventure or something like that. Uh, pretty cool little cool game, man. I gotta I gotta give it to you. The graphics are really good. Um, as you can see, I mean, this is pretty much the dashboard of the Kindle. It's straightforward. It's easy to see. Um, I wish they would showcase or have a f uh, filter we could do the newest first, as far as games go. But uh, they don't have that yet, so kind of have to go on the Amazon.com and then come back later and all that. But for the most part, it's pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of cool little games coming out uh, almost every single week for the Kindle Fire. So. Some old stuff, some new, um, some exclusive only to the Fire TV, some uh, that you can get on any Android and all that stuff. So besides that, thanks for watching, guys. Um, please like and share below. Um, you can see me on Twitter, also Facebook. And if you want to catch more images of that goofball, you can go over to Instagram. All those links will be provided below. And uh, y'all have a, a good day, and I'll see you on the next one.